Listening Part 1 You will hear some sentences. You will hear each sentence twice. Choose the best reply to each sentence. Number 1 Number 1 That was a lovely meal. Thank you. That was a lovely meal. Thank you. Number two, number two. Are you certain she's not coming? Are you certain she's not coming? Number three, number three. I'm afraid I can't stay any longer. I'm afraid I can't stay any longer. Number four, number four. Could you help me with this table? Could you help me with this table? Number five, number five. Can I give you a lift? Can I give you a lift? Number six, number six. I've got that new job I went for. I've got that new job I went for. Number seven, number seven. How would you like your tea? How would you like your tea? That is the end of part one. Part one. You will hear some short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. Choose the correct answer to complete each conversation. Number one, number one. What's the problem? I can't decide where to go on holiday. Why don't you go where you go every year? What's the problem? I can't decide where to go on holiday. Why don't you go where you go every year? Number two, number two. Do you think you could help me with this report? I'm afraid I'm a bit busy at the moment. It'll only take a few minutes. Do you think you could help me with this report? I'm afraid I'm a bit busy at the moment. It'll only take a few minutes. Number three, number three. Have you finished with that book of mine yet? Oh, I really need to talk to you about that. What's the problem then?
Have you finished with that book of mine yet? Oh, I really need to talk to you about that. What's the problem then? Number four, number four. What do you think you're doing? I'm just having a look round. But you're not allowed in here. What do you think you're doing? I'm just having a look round. But you're not allowed in here. Number five, number five. There she is. That's Monica. I don't think I know her. But you do. You met her last year. There she is. That's Monica. I don't think I know her. But you do. You met her last year. Number six, number six. So, where do I sign? You don't need to, as long as I have your details. But don't I need to sign the contract? So, where do I sign? You don't need to, as long as I have your details. But don't I need to sign the contract? Number seven, number seven. So, when do you leave? In about two weeks. I can't wait. I know it's exciting, but I'm very concerned. So, when do you leave? In about two weeks. I can't wait. I know it's exciting, but I'm very concerned. That is the end of part one. Section two. You will hear a university administrator telling a group of new students about the central campus buildings and the facilities they provide. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to sixteen. Now listen carefully and answer questions eleven to sixteen. Welcome, everyone, to the Brandon Complex, the geographical and we could say spiritual heart of this university. This is basically where everyone eats too, as you can see by looking around. There are many different cuisines here: Chinese, Indian, and Middle Eastern, plus the usual fare of a local type, all in that corner over there. We have many shops here too, but the biggest is Wilson's right there, providing clothing and hardware. That's next to all the restaurants. Now, on the opposite side of Wilson's, we have three shops. The one in the corner there, closest to the restaurants, is for DVDs. Yes, the DVDs are cheap and affordable, and you can also rent DVD players as well. Moving on. 
In the corner directly opposite Wilson's is the student union office. Incidentally, you are all encouraged to join the student union, as a student union card gives you many benefits, including discounts on basically everything you can buy here at the Brandon complex. Outside this complex, on the other side of the road, you can just see it from here in fact, is a building that we call by the rather unusual name, the H building. Next to this, on the other side of some trees along the main road, is the Engineering Institute, but that doesn't have anything to do with the Brandon complex. One last thing is that just outside this door, near us here, you can see a grassy oval patch. Well, that's the playing field for what we simply call the fitness room, which is alongside. So you can put on some calories here at the restaurants and then burn them off at the fitness room afterwards. Oh, I forgot to mention this shop right here, in the middle, beside the student union. It's the bookshop. And, as you can see, it's always busy, always popular. You can buy newspapers, magazines and stationery there, plus a few clothing items as well, just as you can at Wilson's. Why don't you go and take a look right now? Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Welcome everyone to the Brandon Complex, the geographical and, we could say, spiritual heart of this university. This is basically where everyone eats too, as you can see by looking around. There are many different cuisines here, Chinese, Indian and Middle Eastern, plus the usual fare of a local type, all in that corner over there. We have many shops here too, but the biggest is Wilson's, right there, providing clothing and hardware. That's next to all the restaurants. Now, on the opposite side of Wilson's we have three shops. The one in the corner there, closest to the restaurants, is for DVDs. Yes, the DVDs are cheap and affordable, and you can also rent DVD players as well. Moving on, in the corner directly opposite Wilson's is the Student Union office. Incidentally, you are all encouraged to join the Student Union, as a Student Union card gives you many benefits, including discounts on basically everything you can buy here at the Brandon complex. Outside this complex, on the other side of the road, you can just see it from here in fact, is a building that we call by the rather unusual name, the H building. Next to this, on the other side of some trees along the main road, is the Engineering Institute, but that doesn't have anything to do with the Brandon complex. One last thing is that just outside this door, near us here, you can see a grassy oval patch. Well, that's the playing field for what we simply call the fitness room, which is alongside. So you can put on some calories here at the restaurants and then burn them off at the fitness room afterwards. Oh, I forgot to mention this shop right here, in the middle, beside the student union, it's the bookshop, and, as you can see, it's always busy, always popular. You can buy newspapers, magazines and stationery there, plus a few clothing items as well, just as you can at Wilson's. Why don't you go and take a look right now?